What's up everybody? Today we're going to change the final drive oil on our new Kubota 97-2 skid steer. What you're going to need is a bucket you don't care about, a number 8 socket, Allen head or whatever the hell it's called, and get this puppy lined up. You've got a drain hole, a fill hole, and a level check. So what you do first is take this top one out. It's really in there. It's really in there. There we go. That didn't take much effort. Much effort at all. <laughs> Just stick with me. Put it somewhere clean. Now that that's done, you're going to take apart the bottom one. Also, really on there. Now you're going to hold the bucket under it. Now sit here for the next 20 minutes. Still coming. Christ on a crutch. Okay, sports, we're back. I went ahead and put some Teflon tape on these plugs. She's just about done draining. So go ahead and put the drain one in. At the factory, they put these plugs in tighter than a nun. All you need to do is snug it up. It's not going anywhere. Here's the oil that came out of it. Ew. This is your filler hole. You fill it till it comes out there. In this case, I'm using Kubota 8090 weight. Truth be told, the only reason I'm using this shit is because the salesman gave it to me. Otherwise, we'd be using stuff from Napa for half the price. Shove just the tip in and squeeze a little bit like you're milking a prostate. Well, that's a whole quart. And he only gave me two. Guess one's not getting all the oil it's supposed to. Try taking the cover off, stupid. Money shot! There. Repeat for the other side. And if you're short on oil because your salesman didn't give you enough, just get some from Napa. Take care. 